Let me turn the audio down so you can hear me. Hopefully it's not overpowering my mic. But uh, hi everybody. We're gonna continue this build that we had started yesterday. I thought that could be fun. Hi that jazz, welcome to the stream guys. Loving the little bunny emo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to continue this tonight and just kind of have a chill stream. It's later than normal, obviously. Uh, but I thought we could hang out together on this Monday night and just chill. Um, gotta go to bed soon, please. So please don't stream that long. I'm gonna stream until I feel like ending. But feel free to go to bed when you need to. Um, finally made it to a stream. Yay! Hi, Crowned Lily. And... Oh gosh, I'm so bad at names. Katana LeBlanc, welcome to the stream. And Lamila, Paige, Julian. Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. Glad you guys could make it over. Um, so yeah, for anyone that wasn't at the stream yesterday, we started building this uh, wedding venue in Sulani. And I'll show you what we have so far. Um, when do you usually stream? <laughs> I don't really have a stream schedule yet. Try to figure that out. Not usually this time, but I am looking at maybe doing a time that's actually later than this some days of the week. But um, I'm hoping sometime in February I'll have a more precise streaming schedule. Right now it's just kind of whenever I have time. Um, <laughs> I look so cute. Thank you so much. Uh, how's your night going? It's going all right. I mean, I'm not doing much. Just hanging out here with you guys. Hi, so glad to get to catch you. Oh, of course, so glad you could make it again. Um, I'm doing really good, Mango, how are you? Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna tour this real quick to get everyone up to speed. Uh, so, when? Uh, you're normally asleep when you stream. What time is it for you right now? Is this like morning for you? I'm not, I'm not familiar when everyone's time zone is, but um, I'm trying to figure out the best time um, to go ahead and stream. I highly doubt Christy is here because it's very, very late for her where she's living. Uh, I'm doing okay. Also, forgive me if I randomly disappear. It's 3.56 a.m. here. Oh, of course. No worries. Don't ever feel like you need to stick around. Um, your uh, schedule is way more important than you being here. But I appreciate you popping by anyway. Um, there you go. That answers your question. Um, it's 10.56 here lol so sleepy yeah it's 10 56 here as well um i'm also in new england but i'm on a third shift sleep schedule same completely same i go to bed at like 4 a.m so this is kind of an early time for me it's 5 in the morning for me but i'm a night nurse uh 11 57 7 57 you're on prime time for me right now okay that makes sense yes if, yay first time seeing you live yay all right let's actually get into this tour so we are currently working on um, a wedding venue, as you can see. And when you first walk in, we have some bathrooms because those are necessary. Uh, these are not furnished yet, but what we were thinking is this bigger one is gonna be like the honeymoon suite. And then out back, it has like a hot tub and outdoor shower. And then these two could be for other people in the wedding party or other people to just staying here. Or maybe if you're just telling a story of you're staying at the beach, uh, but you're not like getting married these are just gonna be simple little places they're not gonna have their own en suites I don't think I think they're gonna have to use this public restroom over here but this one is gonna have like a sink and toilet in here and then we have an outdoor shower so I think that's gonna be kind of nice um, so those are pretty simple some greenery and our little swing set and then if you walk on over here we have lots of tables to eat at and a place for the uh, newlyweds to sit open presents this is a table to put the cake on so they can cut it and then we have this really pretty bar right here and I love it during like this time of day and early morning with the sun shining behind it. It just looks so pretty. I'm really, really enjoying the look of all of this. And then if you head on over this way, we get into our main reception area, which I think looks really pretty as well. Uh, so that's kind of what we got going on. Um, it's 9 p.m. in Colorado. I just got off work and sat down with dinner. Oh, perfect timing then. Where are you from? It's 7.57 for me here in California. I'm in New England, so three hours later. Uh, I slept 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., so I'm wide awake right now. Definitely know that uh, sleep schedule. 
Um, it's 10.57 here and I'm nocturnal literally, but yes, this is a good time for me. Good to know, good to know. Um, my partner just went to bed, so this is perfect for me to have some relaxing me time building and watching you. Oh, that's fantastic. I was going to sleep soon, but this is more important to me. Get your sleep. Uh, it's looking so good. I've been meaning to play with this world more. This is beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, it's basically 3 p.m. here. Have to take, might have to take the stream with me as I do some chores. That's totally fine. Uh, that looks great, Tanya. Thank you. Um, uh, some weird corrections in the chat. Um, I think the term partner is completely fine for whoever you're with, and it doesn't mean it definitely has to be a husband or a wife. Yeah. Um, every time I've had a wedding so far, my sims die from being too playful. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, this is perfect as I'm building in Solani right now too. 10 p.m. here in Kansas City. This is my first time joining your stream. I love your YouTube videos. Oh, hi, HP Freak. Welcome to the stream. New to your Twitch family, glad to be here. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you for coming by and thanks for all the new follows, everybody. Um, so I don't actually know where I want to get started with finishing this up. And I am trying to record it. I'm missing a little bit of the recording of these buildings, uh, the exterior part of it, like just putting the boxes in the front porches down. But the rest of it I have <laughs> recorded. So hopefully this can go out as a speed build for anyone that missed any part of this stream. It looks amazing. I can't wait to get this world. It's such a pretty world. Sulani is just stunning. <laughs> Time zones are also very intriguing to me. And it looks like we got a couple of people in Kansas City. That's cool. All right. So I think we'll start with the honeymoon suite. I do want to use this bed because it's really pretty and goes with the theme. Also, let me know if the music is an okay volume because in my ears it's really loud, but what your guys is hearing is probably very different than what I could hear. Um, it's 4 a.m. and couldn't sleep, so glad to catch the stream. Love your videos and builds. Have I missed much? We have done nothing. We have started and talked so far, um, but yeah. Um, I don't know who it was, but thanks to whoever told me how to upload apartments. Yeah, the chat can be really helpful sometimes. Apartments are cool because you just delete walls and I actually usually replace them. So if you like grab a wall like this and you pick it up and you place it in the spot where um, a room used to, like the hole you made was, it doesn't work here because I didn't delete the wall first, but it'll make it so it's not technically a room. So you can upload the whole thing with all the walls. I do that a lot. Um, Oh, wouldn't it be even weirder if everywhere had the same time zone? Maybe, yeah. Um, your sims need help. What do your sims need help with? Um, you're such an amazing builder, I wish. Oh, just it gets better with time. Definitely a lot of practice. Uh, but thank you so much. Also, long time lurker, first time writer. Didn't even realize I wasn't following you until a little back. Oh, wow. Well, glad you could be here. Um, It'd be interesting, yeah. I just got a new gaming moderner, and man, The Sims 4 looks so good. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, getting upgrades for your PC is like the best. All right, which one do we feel is very honeymoon-esque? I mean, this one has the white comforter. Maybe that would be the right vibe to go. We have like dark colors in here, going into the light colors outside maybe. Um, when are we going to do a gameplay stream? No idea. Depends on when I feel like doing that. Uh, my build mode is messed up and I can't build at all. Oh, that's no fun. Uh, what's the hashtag for the squish challenge? It is actually, I'll just type it in, peek at it real quick because I haven't looked at it yet um, because we have a little while to go until the um, deadline comes across. So let's go ahead and go to the hashtag and type it in. It is squish tours micro. And let's see what we got up here already. Might as well take a gander, right? If it loads. I know the last couple of times that I looked at stuff for previous tours, it took forever to load because there were so many submissions. Um, hi, Tanya just arrived. Hi, Santino. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, yeah, Squish Tours Micro. Um, hey everybody popping in oh my goodness getting a new graphics card soon too only downside is i share my gaming pc with my husband Ah, well you guys can enjoy it together 
Uh, OMG, I actually am catching your stream. Much excitement. Hi, Antsy Panties. <laughs> I like your name. Um, glad you could make it to a stream. Welcome, welcome. All right, so yeah, this is the hashtag and it looks like we have uh, quite a few submissions up here already. Oh, I'm so excited to go through these. We have some sims in here too. I'm assuming some of you guys like made some sims to go with your submissions. Oh man, I'm excited to look through some of these. I think when we do this squish tours, I'm considering this, that maybe I will do my video like normal and I'll go over my normal like five to 10 depending on how many catch my eye. But I might also do a stream just going through more of them because I mean, <laughs> do you guys see how many submissions there are? And so many of them look so cool. Wow, okay, and the deadline isn't even for like another week. Wow, okay. Um, I play on console, so I'm patiently waiting for the Tiny Living Stuff pack. It's gonna come out soon. Um, uh, will you check out every submission even if it's not on your YouTube channel? Um, I definitely like scroll through everything. It's impossible to like have enough time to place down all of these and look through all of them. Um, there's not enough hours in the day, uh, but I try to like at least pick out everything that I think is interesting and exciting and I, I give everything a good look through. I just, there's not enough time to place everything down with the amount of submissions there are. As I do YouTube videos, I'm trying to stream all the time and I do work a full-time job as well as take care of three f animals at home. So very, very busy, um, but... I am always so excited to look through these submissions. I'm like trying so hard right now not to click on some of these and be like, look at this one. Uh, but I think we might do a stream going through some more of the ones other than the ones in the video. I think that could be kind of fun. Um, what's the challenge? The challenge is, um, well, the, I mean, Squish Tours is always on the channel, been like themed tiny houses that I'll do tours of, like ones based on whatever theme I pick for the month. So in Halloween, it was like spooky squish tours, which was fantastic. And then this month, as we just got the new Tiny Living Stuff pack, I was like, well, I do a tiny tour every month. So why don't we do them micro homes with the new um, tier system for tiny houses? So making it the smallest home possible. So I think that's gonna be really fun to look through. Um, I'm the type of person that can't live with UI cheats. Yeah, I know a lot of people can't live without them. Um, hi, I am Hall04. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I love how they're all set in Strangerville. Yeah, Strangerville is great. Um, my build mode wasn't working too, and I'm starting to build more than gameplay, and it was freaking out. Updated UI cheats, and the build mode worked again. Oh, that's a good tip. Uh, can you add the hashtag to older builds? Like, if you add it to the comments, does that work? I don't think so, but if you re-upload it to the gallery with the new hashtag, it should be fine. Um, whether you have it saved in your game and to your library or you place it back down on your lot and then like resave it and upload it to the gallery with the new hashtag, that should be fine. That should work. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, joining a little late, but hi everyone. Hi Angie Lynn, welcome to the stream. Uh, hello, I love watching your videos on YouTube. I'm so glad to be able to catch you streaming. Hi the PK, welcome, welcome. Um, OMG, Tanya, I just arrived and I already have to leave. I'm so sorry. Perhaps next stream. Never apologize for that. Enjoy your night or day, whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, hey, Tanya, glad I could make it even though I should go to bed because it's 1 a.m. But now I'd rather spend this time with everyone here. Get your sleep. If you want to stick around, that's fine. But make sure you get enough sleep tonight. I appreciate you being here. Welcome, welcome. Um... OMG, if any of your animals decide to bother you right now, please show them on camera. I will. Um, I think the only... Rudy has already gone to bed. He's uh, sleeping in the other room with my boyfriend. And then Rio's in the other room. So he he might at some point start like clawing at the door like, Ma, Ma, can, can I come in? Because <laughs> so if he does that, I will make sure to bring him... Oh my gosh. That was so quiet in my ear. But thank you so much for that sub tier one subscription, Antsy Panties. Oh my goodness, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Squish Squad. <laughs> um, wow, okay, so you just unlocked our bunny emote. Uh, I have more emotes on the way. I have somebody working on them now, and uh, 
hopefully within the next couple of weeks those will be up and running but thank you so much for your support that means so much to me you have no idea um i'm just trying to fix my audio so maybe oh my god <laughs> steven <laughs> oh my god okay hi guys yellow mellow raid it's a spring raid hi guys thank you so much for that raid steven Oh my goodness, how was your stream? How how was everybody? I missed a whole bunch of chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we raided you. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, how was your stream? Tell me about it. Hi, everybody coming in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's a spring raid. Uh, I had a question about the debug menu. Every time I put in the cheat, I get the message command failed and I'm not sure why I have never encountered that before that's kind of interesting but hi welcome everybody to the stream hopefully you're having a good night so far Steven what, what did you guys get up to in your stream tonight also I should probably explain what we're doing we haven't done anything yet we've just been chatting um, but we're building like it's a, a wedding venue here in Sulani and uh, this is just kind of what it looks like so far I'll just put this here um, it went well. We finished the Black Widow challenge today, and the last spouse was Negan from The Walking Dead. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, the Black Widow challenge. I've always wanted to try that one, but I just never got around to it. But it sounds like a good time. I mean, who doesn't like uh, being awful to their sims? Uh, that's so pretty. That's cute. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're, we're working on it slowly but surely. Uh, this is like the reception or the... What is the word I'm looking for? Not reception. The ceremony area. And then over here, we have like a little bar. Uh, once again, I'm gonna put it in the morning light because I think it looks so pretty like this. And like a place for the newlyweds to hang out and eat their food, open their presents, like a table to put the cake on. Plenty of places to sit down and enjoy as a guest. And then we haven't furnished these yet. That's what we were about to do. Um, this is gonna be a kind of like honeymoon suite and then two other little bungalows for guests to stay in um we got pretty evil every marriage that sounds about right I like that um ceremony yeah that's the word I was looking for hi Griffey do you prefer porches with flooring or just terrain and landscaping um it really depends on the build I don't think I have a particular preference um, your builds are so amazing. Thank you so much, Steven. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Uh, anytime my sims get married, my go-to venue is somewhere in Sulani for sure. Yes, Sulani is just stunning. I, I feel like I haven't played the game in a long time, so I haven't had any sims get married in a long time, but I feel like this is going to be my go-to place, uh, when I do have some sims get married sometime in the future. Uh, I can just imagine the reception at night already. Oh, I actually want to look at this at night. Oh, man. We have, like, a glowing fence, which I think looks so cool in this area. Um, but, yeah, let's actually get into working on this because I keep putting it off. We've been live for, like, 20 minutes, and we haven't done anything other than chat. So, but, which is totally fine. <laughs> but I would like to build a little bit. Uh, it's so pretty... Uh, my head hurts again because of screen time. Oh, I'm so sorry. You should get some rest. Uh, do you have any tips for landscaping? I feel like I'm so bad at it. Um, maybe like having the brush on like softer amounts. So not everything so harsh and just like click around a little bit. Like I don't want that there, but I have a whole landscaping tutorial. Um, it goes over more so basics. I'm not really sure what tips I would give. Hmm. I, I would just be like, be slow with it. Try and mimic stuff you see in real life. It gets better with practice, just like regular building does. Um. Oh, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, my Sims just got married in Sulana, Sulani in the ocean while skinny dipping. I mean, that's the way to get married. That's a memorable way to get married. Uh, Spring Sims is on YouTube. Yes, he is. Um, actually, I forgot. Um, while I'm at it, I should probably... Uh, 
Um, you guys should go follow him over on Twitch. Um, but he does have a YouTube channel as well. I gotta go really soon. All right, get, have a good night. Uh, I've gotten better at building, but my landscaping is lacking sk still. Oh my gosh, I cannot word tonight. Um, uh, you'll get better over time for sure though. Um, we were driving around yesterday to every house that I saw, I was literally thinking I should build that. I know that feeling. I get that all the time. Do you know when you'll have this build done? I kind of want to download this. Oh, thanks, Steven. Um, I'm hoping to have it done as a speed build on the channel by the end of the week. So we're going to see how much we can get done tonight. And then if not, it'll be up later this week. Um, but this week for sure. <laughs> Um, this stream made me realize my current legacy couple aren't married even though they have four kids. There's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, if you want to get married in Sulani at a really cute thing, I mean, I'm calling my own build cute, but I'm, I'm very happy with it, uh, then maybe, maybe it's time for them to tie the knot. That, that could be a, an option. I kind of want to mimic the floor we have outside, but maybe we'll do it a little bit darker in here. Or... Ooh, is that too much, the flooring? I kind of like that flooring. Hmm. Uh, real life inspo everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, exciting, yeah. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the week. Um, I've been being pretty productive, like streaming and uploading everything um, that week. It's 2020, yo, yeah, do whatever you want, it's 2020. Um, have kids before marriage. Don't get married at all. Marry whoever you want. Be who you want to be. It's 2020. Let's let's do what we want. <laughs> uh, I just bumped my boom arm with my elbow and forgot it's mounted to my desk and tried to catch it. I've done that so many times. Um, do you use mods for your sims or builds? I use mostly the only like thing I really use is this shelf right here it's a cc item it just helps me place things but that's really all i'm i ever use uh gotta head to bed happy building have a good night sleep well thank you for popping by um you're already inspiring me to get on sims which i'm now doing while watching you oh that's awesome that's always the best um let's have a matching switch Maybe like that. Oh. All right, maybe. Something like that and we can put stuff on the shelves. Watching the stream makes me want to go to my computer and play The Sims all night, which is not a good decision. I think it's a great decision. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's a great way to spend the night. All right, let's see. Do we want some pretty flowers in here? I feel like I want stuff that's a little bit more tropical feeling. So maybe I'm thinking about the one from base game, but this one could also work. These are so pretty. Ooh, that actually matches the colors in here really well. That looks so pretty. Okay. I think we are going to go with that, but I want like some kind of texture behind the bed because it's a little bland for my liking. I don't know if something like this. No, that's too dirty. Um, I do want texture though. I mean, maybe something like one of these could work. I think that could work on this wall. Um, I played Sims all night all the time. Once played The Sims 2 from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. And I was like, oops, I didn't sleep. Definitely know that feel. Gotta say we got some really good potted plants with Island Living. We really did. I didn't grab one yet, but <laughs> they are really nice. The ones that came with Island Living. This one came out with movie hangout stuff, though. But yeah, the ones from Island Living. Oh my gosh, look at this plant. It's so pretty. I just don't use it as much because it has kind of, it gets darker. It has some weird shadows on it. 
but it is really pretty. Uh, I'm going to move this weekend, so I'm about to build my new home, hoping I get some ideas on decor. I suck at decor. I mean, that's a great way to go about that, like making stuff in The Sims first. So great. Um, but I hope you can find some really cool ideas for some decor. I think like decorating your own space is so much fun. I was pumped when I moved and got to redecorate a new place. It's like so exciting. Um, all right. I want to get some lamps in here. Did we get anything with Island Living that would work really nice? Um, this is really pretty. I don't ever use this. This is from Outdoor Retreat. Interesting. I don't think I've ever even noticed this before. I could make it like growing out of this plant if I wanted. interesting uh hello i wanted to say i love your videos oh thank you so much 25th and live i think is how i say that uh welcome to the stream um oh explaining the legacy challenge in chat uh moving is exciting and stressful yes exactly definitely relate to that like that statement. Mm, actually, I don't want this. I want candles. Um, maybe the ones that we actually used outside would be a good idea. I think that looks kind of cute. I wish I had a long enough attention span to play a legacy challenge, right? I feel like I used to, without a challenge, just on my own, play for 10 generations at a time. But now I'm like, Gen 2, I'm like, eh, let's make a new family. Um, my lease for my apartment is up in May, and honestly, we're hoping to maybe be able to buy our first home. But I don't know, I'm just so sick of apartment life and landlords. I understand that. I hope you guys can find something. You have some time. I mean, May's a while away still, but hopefully you can find something. Best of luck to you. Uh, look at the time I should go to bed because I have choir class tomorrow. Um, yeah, you should head to bed. Make sure you get enough sleep for class. Um, but thank you for stopping by the stream. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I've only ever gotten to Gen 4. Renting is really difficult. I hope it works out for you, friend. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, I have a YouTube channel. At first, I didn't want to include builds, but you seamlessly, Freezer Bunny, and Devin Bumpkin inspired me to try. I'm not the best builder. Oh, that's so awesome. Best of luck to you with that. Um, I would totally fall asleep at my desk if I played all night, especially because there's a big window next to my desk to remind me at what time it is. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I have a window right next to me too, like right over this way. And sometimes I'll be sitting here working on something and then it's like 6 a.m. and the sun's rising and ooh. <laughs> um, I, I know what you mean. Um, I think we need some cute artwork. I don't know what I want to put up here though. Because we want this to be like a cute um, honeymoon spot on the beach. So it needs to be like dreamy and romantic. Ooh, these little fishies are cute. These came with I know, right? Yeah. I forgot we even had these. But these might be exactly what I was looking for. I like that. And then maybe just like some other cute clutter up there. Since it's like a hotel, like stuff like this makes sense to me. I think that looks kind of cute. Um, 
Any tips for somebody who wants to start a YouTube channel but doesn't even have okay equipment? Just get started. I started my YouTube channel many, many years ago on a really old, like, noisy laptop. I used my in-laptop in camera and microphone and the audio quality, the video quality, everything was awful. But I was having so much fun doing it, it, so like, just getting started. It doesn't matter what your quality is, just get started. And then when you're trying to go and update quality eventually down the line, the first thing you're gonna wanna look at and update is gonna be your audio. That's my best advice. Just get started with what you got. And then if you're really enjoying it and you want to put money in it later on, start with audio, but make sure you enjoy it first and just use what you got. Hopefully that was helpful, but that's just from personal preference and experience what I've always done. Um, we're also 32 miles away from my husband's job right now, and he hates driving 45 minutes to and from work, so we're trying to find a place closer. Yeah, I have a drive similar to that, um, so I understand that. Usually I binge one family for a few hours, and the next time I play, I try to make a new one. Yeah, I can relate, for sure. Um, uh, I live 25 miles away from where I work, but I hate moving. I can understand that as well. I can see the window to my neighbor's bathroom through my window and I always feel really awkward because I can tell when they go into the bathroom. Yeah, that is kind of awkward for sure. Um, having true passion is half of it. Yes. Yes. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Foxy Owls Salinity. Welcome to the stream. Uh, audio can make or break videos. Yes, yeah, somebody is way more likely to continue watching your video if you have good audio but bad video but if you have good video and bad audio they're gonna click off because they might be able to see what you're doing but like hearing somebody is so much more important to a majority of viewers so if you're gonna invest in something you're gonna want to invest in audio before you invest in like a better camera or better webcam or whatever you're looking to get um, for videos but starting having a passion for what you're doing is definitely like exactly where you need to be. Just try it out, see if you like it, and then later on think about upgrades. I think the shelf needs a plant. I am a person who adds too many plants though. I do the same thing and I was also thinking, oh, there's not enough plants here. Uh, but I might try and add some of those vines we had outside hanging above the, um, above the bed. I think that could look nice. Um, Blue Snowball microphones can be cheap and OBS Studio for recording is free and easy to use. Yeah, I still use OBS. I don't have a blue uh, Snowball anymore. I had a Snowball when I first started, but mine broke immediately and I do not like that microphone. But then I got a Yeti and that one was pretty good. And then I currently have a Rode Podcaster, which I love. Um, my partner has a small channel, just over 400 subs, but he's really passionate about what he does and it shows through it's grown a lot in the last six months. That's awesome. Congratulations to him. Uh, do you like basketball? I don't really follow any sports. Um, when my audio is bad, I don't even want to edit my video. I understand that so much. No such thing as new, too many plans. Yes. Okay. I'm getting caught up in talking again and doing absolutely no building. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need some kind of tiny tropical plant. I don't know what that's going to be, but tiny tropical plant. Because this one doesn't really size down well. Look at that shadow under it. It's awful. I don't know if even a plant is going to work in this space. Maybe we don't need another plant right there. We'll just add one on the bedside table that we haven't added yet. I think that might be the solution we go for. Um, I might even go with just the matching table that's supposed to go with this pack. Granted, I feel like I just want to use these new ones from Tiny Living, but they don't match this bed at all, so we're not going to use those. But I feel like I want to use them in every build, and I just want to make 800 versions of my dream apartment because I just really, really like, really like that pack. The items that came with it are just so pretty. But I think for now we'll use like this 
bedside table and get some kind of rug, maybe in a creamy color. I just want it to be really relaxing and nice in here. You, you know, you want your sims to be in a, a good mood if they're spending their honeymoon in here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe just a simple rug like that. I think that looks really pretty. Um, my friend thinks I have a problem with too many plants. <laughs> Everyone in the stream. Miles? Me. Confused Canadian noises. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, a blue snowball. I I will say I've had to hit it a couple times to get rid of the static. Oh no, that's not good. I'm back. Sorry, I was taking my boyfriend. Well, almost boyfriend. I'm still not sure. <laughs> Talking to him. Um, we've admitted our attraction to each other, but that's really it. We talk all the time. I mean, that's close enough to being your boyfriend. Um, hopefully, if you guys are looking for some sort of uh, actual name for that, you can figure that out soon. But if not, you don't need labels. Um, but no worries. You don't have to apologize for being late or back or disappearing or any of that. I'm just happy that you could be here. This is the honeymoon suite, yeah. We're trying to make it um, cozy, pretty. You have this like gorgeous view outside. I mean, oh my goodness. Look out that window. My loose snowball lasted about six years. Really? Mine lasted like a week, like a week. By the way, <laughs> hi Julian, welcome, welcome. I hated my snowball, but I know a lot of people have had very good experiences with it. So I try not to like, say anything too negative because I know it's a good price and a good starter mic. I just, I did not have a good experience at all, like whatsoever. Uh, I'd like to go back to where I went on my honeymoon. It was so nice there. Aww. Hopefully someday you can go back and travel to some uh, previous places like that. Uh, hello again. Hi, Paige. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could make your back. Hmm. You want more candles? I feel like that's too many. Well, we can have more candles, but maybe not the same one. Maybe that one. I almost got a snowball, but I opted out for a Samson, Sam, Sun Go mic. I'm not familiar with that one. Are you liking it? Is it any good? I'd like some like ocean like pictures maybe or we could do some of these leaves and stuff they are really pretty uh, I use a road podcaster yeah that's what I'm talking into right here mm, do I want these I haven't decided what I want okay uh, I'm going to try putting this here and see if I like it. I feel like we're going to have to use the stereotypical we're on vacation painting somewhere over here. Maybe it'll be right over when you first walk in because I'm kind of thinking we'll have a console table right here. That could look kind of nice. Maybe like that when you first walk in. A place to like throw your keys and all that kind of stuff. Um, just uploaded four builds to the challenge. Shoot, two of them I did today. The other two a couple days ago. I'm so excited. I can't wait to look through everything. Hopefully one of yours gets selected. But I obviously have a lot to go through. But I'm hoping to do a stream. I'm not sure if you were here earlier when I was talking about that. Um, but in addition to the video, I'm hoping I can stream going through some of the builds this time. I think that could be a really, really fun experience. Um, it's pretty decent, plus got with some tweaking in uh, Streamlabs OBS, I got the audio sounding pretty good. That's great. That's always great. I haven't decided what I want, honestly, mood. Yes. Alright. Maybe we could use that tall skinny plant from the pack over in this corner when you first walk in. When does it end again? February 7th, yes. On uh, February 7th, which I think is a Friday. It's like three days after it comes out on console. Um, that is the deadline. 
I will look at them sometime that weekend, but just in case I want to look at them right away, um, it's the 7th. Hopefully someday I'll marry my girlfriend in a place just as beautiful as Sulani. Make Sulani real, please. Oh, that is so cute. I hope you guys get to do that someday. I mean, Sulani is heavily based off of Hawaii, is it not? Um, so it's not exact, but there are some similar locations. Um, I only have the base game on console, but I never play it on Xbox, so. Yeah, so you, I take it you have it on PC as well? I think it's great that it's available on console for those that want to play on console, but I feel like if you have the ability to play on PC, it's, it's better on PC. You have, like, the ability to have mods and CC, and up until recently, you had the gallery when the when console didn't, and now they do. But I think it's awesome that console players can now partake in that, and I know a lot of people prefer to play with the controller anyway. It's all personal preference when it comes down to it. Um, yes, I prefer it on PC way more. Yeah, I couldn't bring myself to complete the whole the vote for cast today. I'm way too indecisive to only choose 15. I love so many of the options. Oh my gosh, it was so difficult picking some of them. Um, I feel like I didn't select much for anything. I mean, we only had 15 options. How could you select much? Uh, funny, my birthday is February 11th. I'm, I'll be the age of a Taylor Swift song. So 22, I'm guessing. I'm, I think that's Taylor Swift. I don't actually know me, that type of music at all, but I feel like that's always what pops into my head. I remember that year. Wouldn't stop singing that. <laughs> um, the controller throws me off. Yeah, same. There are certain controls not available for controllers, and I use both. Oh, okay. Um, everyone thinks I'm younger than what I am. Oh, I don't know any other t Taylor Swift songs. Oh, okay, 22. Yeah. I think we need a basket. <laughs> Every build needs a basket at this point. Let's see. OMG, my birthday's February 10th. Ooh, we got some birthdays in February going on. Um, I don't understand how the controls would even work on console. Yeah, it's definitely something you'd have to experience. Uh, I haven't played The Sims 4 on console, but I have played The Sims 3 on console, and it was interesting. I've also played The Sims 2 on console, just not the current Sims. Um, I got the console version when my graphics card had to be replaced, and it was painful. Gameplay is okay, but building is such a struggle for me anyways. Yeah, I could totally understand that. I feel like I'd be so lost. <laughs> Um, people think I'm like 10 years younger and then I'm like, oh, you're too kind at my age. It's nice. I sometimes get that too. Like there's been so many times that I happened to be buying like some sort of paper around back to school time. And somebody was like, oh, what grade are you in? And I'm like, I graduated in 2011. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's kind of confusing, but it, it's, it's a compliment. So it's fine. Um, uh, be 20 in May. It's the most exciting thing ever to me. I am going to cut this age chat short because I'd prefer not to talk about ages on Twitch um, because it can get people into a lot of trouble if you're under the age that you need to be to be on Twitch. So I think we're going to institute a rule going forward that we don't talk about ages if that's okay with you guys. Um, don't want to get in trouble or get any of you guys in trouble if there is anybody out there that is watching that isn't supposed to be. Uh, we're just not going to talk about age. Um, I had Sims busting out on GameCube. It was so good. Oh my god, GameCube. GameCube. <laughs> I just called it cute. A GameCube. Yeah, my first ever Sims game was on GameCube. I had the Sims 2 pets. It was such a good time.
Busting Out was my favorite Sims console game. I think I own it, but I don't think I've played it because I used to do a lot of like thrifting and buying stuff like that. Um, I used to do like the whole Amazon reseller thing. And uh, so I picked up some fun things along the way. And so I'm pretty sure I own that, but I don't think I've ever played it. Um, I'm excited for that too. What, what are we excited about? Oh, okay. I had The Sims 2 pets on DS. You had to run a vet clinic. I played it religiously. <laughs> oh, that sounds so fun. Yes. Um, they did, on the GameCube version, I don't think there was a vet clinic. I love how the different console versions of older Sims games were so different. Um, whether it was handheld, GameCube, PlayStation. It's just cool to see the variety in them. Um, hi, I'm good, Jesse. How are you? Um, I haven't played The Sims 4 on PS4 in a while. I want an expansion pack like The Sims 3 Generations and The Sims 4 so bad. I would do anything for it. Me too! Generations, please! I don't, I feel like at this point it's not happening, but I would love if they brought that to the game. Agreed, I love it when the console sims do different things. Yes, I actually just really miss the experience when I used to play The Sims 2 Pets on GameCube or on PlayStation, because uh, I did, did play both. Just being able to control your sim without having to click go here, just running around, that was so fun. And I remember when I first got The Sims 3 on PC, I was severely disappointed that I couldn't just run around like I could with my controller on The Sims 2 Pets. It was, a, it was a learning curve for sure, uh, but I do really prefer it this way now, but it was really fun to have that to start with. Um, I'm good just doing math work. Good luck with that. Math's never that fun. Um, I started with the first Sims, then I got the Sims 2. Sims 3 wasn't even an option. Then I wanted the Sims 4, but I was iffy to get it because I didn't think my computer would be able to handle it. Got it eventually, and I was surprised at how well it ran with eight gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, The Sims 4 runs really well on all PCs. Um, that was, I think, a primary focus of the game. That's why we have like a closed off world and smaller worlds as more packs come out and stuff like that. It's definitely a performance issue. They want to make sure that the game is playable to a wider audience. Uh, they should have made Parenthood an expansion. It, has, it was such a shame they fell short on it. Yeah, I would have loved that. I don't know why, but watching people clutter is so satisfying, right? I love spending time cluttering. I love watching other people do it. It's really fun. Um, um, yes, my favorite console feature. I want that on PC so bad. The closest thing we have right now is first person mode, which is cool, but it's not the same. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. I've heard jokes that you needed a NASA computer to run The Sims 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Sims 3. I remember Generations in particular. The pack I was ended up being my favorite, but it was the one I was the most excited for. It killed my computer. Like, I literally couldn't open Sims anymore after that pack came out. And I had to buy a new computer to continue playing The Sims 3. It was, uh, it was the time. All right. our little kitchen net over here um I, we'll probably
probably use the island living ones to just continue going with our little island theme we got. Um, I'm loving having mini fridges in the game. It's been so helpful with so many builds. Full on little kitchen in here. I don't know if we want to have a stove. Because we could just do like a mini fridge and microwave. That's an option. We could always move this over too if we wanted to. Or just do this. And have a little sink over here. And I'd size this down to make it look a little smaller. Have a really simple kitchen area. I think that could work a little bit better, make a little bit more sense, at least in my eyes it does. A little trash can over here. Call it a day. <laughs> um, oh yeah, having peace, having bunk beds. What did I knock over? Having bunk beds would be so nice in the game. Um, I think I had Sims agent on my first ever DS when The Sims looked like vinyl pop figures on the game. Uh, first person mode triggers my motion sickness. True, I love using first po person mode. Using it while on the rock climbing treadmill equals <laughs> serious mirrors edge vibes. Oh gosh, just there's so many different things you can do in first person mood mode that is just weird and uncomfortable. And I could totally see that um, triggering some uh, motion sickness for a lot of people. Horses were a mistake in The Sims 3. <laughs> I went on a whole tangent about this a couple streams ago about like demon horses in my game. And oof, oof, yeah, horses were a lot. I think it's a cool concept. I did have fun playing with them. I had one like equestrian uh, sim that her whole life was horse races and competitions and it was really fun. Um, but there, there was some issues with horses in the game for sure. Uh, yeah, there's a first person mode in the game. It's really cool. Um, I remember buying The Sims 3 when it first came out. Tried to run it on my family's ancient PC. It ran Windows XP. Couldn't have been any younger than 2004. It did not go well. <laughs> I was so disappointed. Oh, yeah. I, I did that too at one point. It was, it was bad. It was real bad. Um, the screen would freeze every minute or so if you had more than one horse. <laughs> Accurate. Um, I tried it out and started feeling sick. I was like, nope, Minecraft also does it, so I can't play in full screen. Oh, that sucks. Uh, wait, do you still have all the food options with the mini fridge? I haven't used them outside of dorms yet. I've been informed that we do. I have not played with them because I haven't played the game in probably a year. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I did a little bit of gameplay at Sims Camp, but other than that, I have not really played the game. I've just been building. Uh, so I haven't experienced it myself, but I've been told that it, it does. So, yes, I believe so. Um, uh, I take it you didn't see my comment about my youth leader? I don't think so. Um, when I got seasons for The Sims 2, my Sims walls would flash red. It pushed my graphics cards to the limit. Oh no. Um, <laughs> uh, what do you think was your funniest Sims moment? I'm trying to think which pack it was that in The Sims 3 when it first came out and they had to do like an emergency patch for it that like every Sim in town would congregate in front of town, town hall and vomit. I don't remember <laughs> what pack that was, but I remember being like, what is happening? And just... It was, it was a fun, interesting time. Or the many times that I somehow put a baby in the dishwasher in The Sims 3 because the baby would get stuck on your hand and you'd just be going like this and there's just a baby hanging onto your hand. And yeah, then you did the dishes. And bye bye, baby. <laughs> Those are probably some of my favorites. Uh, House Flipper is so good. I really like that game. Um, they do, they're fully functional as same as regular fridges. Oh good, I think in the previous games, mini fridges always only had snacks. Yeah. Um, my brother got The Sims 3 when it came out for maybe his birthday, maybe Christmas, and I think it ended up having, use, I ended up using it more than him. That's a good way to get it. 
Um, I love how Slipper, my laptop, can run Sims 4, high settings, all packs, but for some reason it really struggles to play House Flipper. Um, the fridge has new options outside of campus. Ooh. Um, well, I remember that bug. I don't think I had it, sadly. It was a weird bug. Yeah, it was a weird one. When he turned 22 at youth camp years ago, everyone at the camp which was like at least 2,500 people were singing 22 to him. He was sick of it after the first hour. I bet. Uh, maybe that's why babies are objects in The Sims 4. So we can't put them in the dishwater? Water. Water. Dishwasher. Oh, gosh. If you guys either didn't play The Sims 3 or never read the patch notes, please go back and read some of the old patch notes for The Sims 3. They are hysterical. Oh, I think my favorite one is... <laughs> Um, something along the lines of Sims will no longer attend graduation when they are currently on fire. Like they will first extinguish themselves before they attend graduation. I remember that bug, but that's one of my favorite ones to read about in the patch notes. They are so funny. Um, I've heard House Flipper isn't well optimized. Yeah. Those babies wearing the centaur CC will forever be burned into my memories. Oh my gosh. Toddlers and babies that bad CC would get clipped to and you'd just have like a pole going through your house because a baby got put in some kind of weird skin outfit or like toddlers that were like crazy monsters like they were spiders essentially because it somehow was adding a full body young adult outfit to a toddler horrifying horrifying moments I remember being so upset because with toddlers you could just change them out of it but with babies you're like okay well uh I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Let's eat you up so we can get you out of this outfit. I've seen videos of people reading the Sims 3 patch notes. They are hysterical. They are so good. When I was playing the Sims 3, my Sim had a fire. Sim was a firefighter and he was in the middle of saving Sims in a fire, but decided to stop and start building a snowman while everyone died around him. Priorities. That's definitely. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Ever put in free real estate on and still not be able to place a lot due to not enough money? I'm about to rage quit my game. Oh no, I've never had that happen before. That sucks. Um, apparently builders could steal subway stations, but it got patched before I saw it. Really? Oh, I wish I could have seen that one. I feel like burglars always just came to my house and stole my trampoline. Never really understood how that fit in the sack on their back, but they really like to steal trampolines and toilets. Uh, so... I don't know what they were doing with all of those. I'm not sure I want to know. Um, <laughs> ladders are definitely needed for tiny houses. I was so certain we would have gotten them. Yeah, I really want ladders too, but I feel like I'd prefer to have them in a patch so everyone gets them than have them behind a paywall of a pack. Um, but hopefully we get them in the future. Um, the patch note that mentioned about children not being able to leave school in the case of a meteor strike makes me cackle every time. Oh, there are so there's so many good ones. Did I save this a minute ago? I don't remember. So we're gonna save again, and then we're gonna actually continue this build. Um, I love how we've been building for an hour, and all we've done is what's inside here right now. We've placed a bed, <laughs> some plants, and a bedside table. Like this is all we've done in an hour. Very productive stream. That's fine. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. All right, let's actually get a dresser in here. this is the matching one we want and then I want the mirror from jungle adventure because it's so pretty yes this one hmm yeah I think that works uh, essentially since we have ladders going into the ocean already yes yes um, yeah, they should have done ladders before. Tiny living would have made more sense. Oh my gosh. Yes, it would. I would have been so excited about that. I would have been like, oh my gosh, we got ladders. What the heck? And then they would have dropped tiny living and I would have been like, oh, perfect use of ladders. Uh, a patch for ladders would be perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious as to what they're going to do next week for their 20th anniversary. I have no idea if we should expect something from the Sims franchise in general, or from the Sims 4, or both, or 
what, but I mean, a like stairs ladder update would be cool. Just saying, you know, I'd be happy with that. I think the cheat is just free real estate without the on. I feel like maybe I've had this problem before or I'm imagining it. I always type it with on and I've never had an issue. So I'm not sure on that. Worth trying without it though. You never really know. <laughs> Why am I building at night? You mean you like have it set tonight? If they don't put Sims 1 on Origin for the anniversary, I'm losing hope of it ever happening. Yeah, I feel like they need to put the Sims 1 on Origin. I would also like it if they did something for The Sims 3 like they did for The Sims 2 of having like a ultimate collection. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, Sims 1 on Origin, please. It's impossible to play. I just, like I own The Sims 1. I own a bunch, I don't own all of the expansions, but I own a bunch of them. And I can't play it on my computer. And even if I can get it to run, I can't save it. There's just, please, Origin. <laughs> That'd be so nice. Mm. I've deleted all of my mods except for build by. It puts me to sleep. <laughs> um, it was set tonight and I'm like, why am I not in afternoon? But it's forgotten hollow, so it's always dark. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I thought you meant in real life. I got a little confused by that too. Yeah, I tried reinstalling The Sims 4 and it won't work. Or The Sims 1 and it won't work. Tried every guide online. Yeah, I've had so many issues with it. I mean, it's a hard game to play anyway because like instant fire and death, but I'd like to fully experience those moments, not just like the game doesn't work. Because yeah, I could make Sims, but they wouldn't save at all. They would just disappear into the void. So I had to play pre-made families and then I just couldn't save the game and it was a mess it was horrible um i need to build i miss it do some building building is so much fun all right i think i want the this is just an all island living room but there's nothing wrong with that um i just really like the stuff that came with this pack just a little bit of storage up there I think this room came out pretty nice. All right, let's do the bathroom and finally move on to another room. Or another like little bungalow because we've been on this one forever because I'm horrible at making decisions and also paying attention to what I'm doing, uh, but that's okay. Oh, this already has a shower outside. We were just gonna do a, well, I guess we're gonna have an indoor shower too because we have a sink here so we don't have to have a sink in the bathroom. Hmm. No, we'll just do the outdoor shower. Okay. Let's pick a nice toilet. We have so many to choose from. <laughs> so many toilets. Too many toilets. Uh, let me just have this one because it matches the floor, the seat. And then we'll have a nice sink over here. Probably also the one from Island Living. Since we're just going all out on Island Living stuff today. And I like the sink. It's it's fairly modern and nice and I don't use it like ever so we're gonna use it today in this cute um, honeymoon suite get some towels in here and toilet paper keep it simple I think that works and we don't need a curtain on there because this is the kind of window you would just close it's just open to get some air in. I like that. Um, oh, I can't build more. Won't work. I forgot you had said that before. I'm sorry. I'm bad at building homes and stuff on The Sims. Don't say that. Um, you can get it online for free, but I'm not sure if it's if I'm allowed to share. What? Um. That's why I edit YouTubers to my liking. What? I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, what type are you, lot type are you turning the lot into? Sorry for the weird random question. It's not a weird random question at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna have it as a beach lot. 
Uh, do you use the Sims 3 camera? I tried it and it was like, nah. Yes, I do use the Sims 3 camera. I've never used the Sims 4 camera. Uh, other than like the day I got the game, I loaded into it and the mouse wasn't cooperating. It was in the Sims 4 camera and I was like, I don't like this. And I changed it to the Sims 3 camera immediately. And I've never tried the Sims 4 camera since. Uh, so yeah, I use the Sims 3 camera and I have no idea what the Sims 4 camera is even like. So... I, I, I can't fully relate on what you're saying, but we all have our preferences. All right, I think maybe just one more plant out here and this could be good. That's going to be in the way of the shower. Maybe, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, I didn't know there was an option to change to the Sims 3 camera, so I just got used to the Sims 4. That makes sense. Um, it's so hard for me to build, probably because I'm on console. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think this particular lot is all done. I don't really want to put a bunch of stuff on the front porch. I don't want this to look super customized like somebody lives here because it's supposed to just be a little honeymoon suite. And then these ones are going to be other places that your sims can stay. Oh, I forgot I did that. Let me paint this. Sims 4 camera feels so unnatural for some reason. Probably just logged too many hours in The Sims 3 though. Yeah, I think that's why I feel that same way is I'm so used to The Sims 3 camera and then as soon as I found out like day one that I didn't have to use The Sims 4 camera, I immediately reverted back to what I was already used to. So that's what I ended up using. <laughs> I just think it's so much easier to use and um, I like the flexibility it gives you. Why does none of the terrain paint go with Forgotten Hollow? It doesn't go with a lot of worlds. Uh, the terrain paint goes with Willow Creek and <laughs> with Oasis Springs and Newcrest. If you like any of the other worlds, it's like, what, you wanted matching terrain paint? We didn't know that. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I really hope we eventually get some matching terrain paint for the different worlds, but currently that is not a thing we have. I never used the Sims 4 camera, I switched to the Sims 3 after five minutes and never turned back. Exactly. Like, ugh. The Sims 4 camera, like why? No thank you. I hope we still have the Sims 3 camera option in the Sims 5. Can you imagine if it was like, do you want Sims 5 camera or Sims 4 camera? And I'm like, can I just say no? Is no an option? <laughs> oh man, that would be, that'd be not good. I want to use this one because it looks like waves or hmm I could use no nah, not that I guess I could use the I other island living bed this one and these fun colors I quite like that because I feel like you want like a nice relaxing comfortable romantic location oh I should actually add the um the VIP bucket in here. I think that would be a perfect item to have in a honeymoon suite. Let's go ahead and raise this up onto the dresser. I think that, or maybe it should actually be on here. When you first walk in, it's like, we supplied you with, um, is that floating? I think it's sitting on there. There we go. I think that looks good. Um, I don't know what I was saying. That Sims 2 nightlife music, oh yes. I love listening to Sims 2 music. It's so good. I tried to go back and play The Sims 2 and I was like, how do I move my screen? 
Oh my goodness. I hope we still have the Sims 4 camera as well. Yeah, I could understand that. I hope we have options. Or maybe they just keep it with the two camera modes we have right now. Um, I remember that music being on the Sims 2 console's main menu and just letting it play for a while. Yeah. This is the song right now that like throws me into nostalgia. I just, the music in this game is too good. This is an ugly rug, okay. Is that too funky? <laughs> Should I make everything a little bit more neutral? I'm not really sure. I think we're gonna make it more neutral because the whole, other than the colors of these buildings, everything out here is more neutral. There is some blue, which is why we painted the outside of these like blue and um, teal. It was impossible to build. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't like about The Sims 4, but they really improved the building mechanics. I can never go back, right? It's so difficult to build in previous games after building in The Sims 4. They did such a good job. Is there any neutral swatches in the island living ones? I feel like there's not. There's this white one. Not awful. You switch between the cameras when you move. That's interesting. Um, the other two tiny rooms could be for the guests, like godmother's parents or the couple's family that came a few days earlier before the wedding. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to decorate the rooms. Gee, I'm already creating stories for the lot. Someone's gonna stop me. Oh no. <laughs> um, completely unrelated, but I work nights and just tried being energy drink. Now I feel like I could live forever. Ooh, good to know as somebody who also works nights. <laughs> Definitely always up for input on how to stay awake. Oh, I think that looks cute. Um, try to see if any of your mods need updates and you can try repairing your game. Maybe build mode will work. All good ideas. Um, I'm currently building a tiny rundown Victorian in Forgotten Hollow. I feel like I need some horror stories in the background to set the vibe. Ooh, oh my gosh. There are so many great resources for that on YouTube. Sometimes I spend way too much time, mostly because my boyfriend will put them on in the other room. He'll just play like top 10 lists of like spooky stuff. And it'll just be story after story of creepy stuff going on all year round. He'll play that kind of stuff in the living room. And I'm like, hmm. Uh, the full size drink or the carbonated shot? I like the little shots, but haven't tried the full size cans. Also good information. I need to know this as well. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm putting this shelf here because I don't know what else I want to put on the bedside table. Probably a plant. I feel like I always put a plant. And I'm going to put this one in here. One there and then we could have... Or actually I'll put it on the other side with the windows and we can put our dresser over here. The same dresser. Make everything kind of match. This music, oh my goodness. Um, the red shelf has returned, yes it has. I work nights at my job and I work any day between Monday to Sunday and I've Always see Mountain Dew or an energy drink to keep me awake at work. Mountain Dew Code Red is my favorite one. 
what is everyone else's favorite Mountain Dew? The full size, I normally don't drink energy drinks, but coffee tears my stomach up and soda isn't doing it for me anymore. Yeah. I always have scary stories playing on YouTube and then I'll be home alone at like 3 a.m. and I live in a rough neighborhood and end up jumping every single sound. My husband's like, why do you do that to yourself? And I'm like, I don't know, I just like it. I do that too. I understand. You're like, they're so interesting. I can't help it. And then you, you're terrified to like exist in your home. But you don't want to stop watching because it's just too good. Hmm. I think something like that works. Keeping it fairly simple. Um, I can recommend the shots too, so the energy, but less to consume. Yes, I made it to a stream. Hi, Princess Zelda. Glad you could make it. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, I understood. Is anyone else having issues with the game disabling their mods even after you checked and everything is okay? I have not seen that, no. Uh, I can't watch Criminal Minds anymore at night. It gives me nightmares. Oh no, that's not good. I also don't turn on any lights because then people will know I'm home and come to get me. Well, what? What? That's interesting. Um, I love all the Mountain Dew flavors, but the regular flavor is my most favorite. Interesting. I think I just want to keep this room really simple. I don't want to add a bunch to it. I want to keep the rooms really neutral. I like these new beds, but I feel like we should use the ones from Island Living. Maybe these ones. If we're keeping everything neutral, then I guess we'll use the the white bed frame or white bed cover. Let's grab another of these tables. This one's going to be even simpler to furnish because we already have a majority of what we need from the other one. Duplicating everything over. Um, I work at a retail store and nights are so long there. That also might be part of my social anxiety too. Yeah, it could be. The um, being afraid of somebody thinking you're home. I can totally understand that. I like check my doors so many times before I go to bed and um, stuff like that. I like quadruple check everything. So I understand that concept. Maybe this one will have a little chair in the corner. A matching island living chair. There we go. And apparently placed three of them <laughs> in the process. Definitely did not mean to do that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I'd want to add in here. Maybe just like a little side table. I don't even think it needs that. We could just add a second chair. Or a bunch, like I keep doing. I think that looks kind of cute. And then, of course, more plants. Hmm. Maybe something like that. I started watching horror movies and drama shows. Uh, like Pretty Little Liars is what I'm assuming PLL stands for during the night and I would get nightmares and scared at night so I stopped that's good definitely stop if you're getting nightmares uh, social anxiety is weird like I get lonely and I want people to talk to but then I'm like oh my god no stranger danger yes exactly um, 
Hey, Tanya, I got to bounce. It's 5.12 a.m. and I have a driving lesson at 1 p.m. Thank you for a great stream. Have a good evening. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please get some sleep. It is very late or early, depending on how you look at it. Uh, get some sleep. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I miss playing The Sims. I was going to start a legacy family and then just stopped working on my computer, but I'm excited I found you streaming. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but glad you could pop by Sky the Pikachu. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, people can be so mean when they shop. I'm just chilling at 12 a.m. on the couch, cuddling with my cat, watching Twitch. Love it. Sounds like a really chill night. Um, they think it's all about them. <laughs> Used to work in retail. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I could ever do that. Um, the closest I ever did was work in a school bookstore, and that was a lot. <laughs> um, they really do, they leave everything everywhere and mess the whole store up. Oh no, I worked retail for almost 10 years. It's the reason I don't like people. I can understand that. Oh my goodness. The, the way people act, I mean, really, why? <laughs> um... They really do. It's crazy. Hi, I just joined because in Germany it's 6 a.m. and I just woke up. Well, good morning. Glad you could pop in. <laughs> Hope you're having a good morning. Uh, the meanest people are our fast food customers. Like, they'll pull up to the menu and just instantly are rude. I worked at a Wendy's for five years. I can't even imagine. Oh, my goodness. Um, I would ask how you are today, and they'd respond, I'm fine, just looking. No, Bush does the wrong answer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, that's the same reason I dislike people, and I only worked on retail since I was 14. Yeah, people can't, are not the greatest. So why is the same painting across all three of these? I kind of feel like that makes sense. Because it does make sense. I think that's everything we need in these three homes or three bungalows. And I think we have pretty much everything else we would need here. So let's see if we can change this over to be a beach. We don't have everything we need. We would need a lounge chair, a water vehicle, and a float lounger. All right, let's see if that's what we want it to be. Because I feel like it makes sense for it to still be a beach. So we could probably just add those things. I don't know where I would put a lounger, though. I guess we could put some, like, loungers right out here. Or if I extend this area a little bit, we could have some loungers. Hmm. There we go, because I wanted the fence to, like, all the ivy to stay where it is. That's what I was concerned with. Keep that a little bit private. And then we can have some loungers out here. Let's see. What would be some good ones? Probably just a couple of these for our sims to relax on. I mean, it's only required to have one, and we have two. Uh, float lounger. We can add, like, you know, just a couple of these over here. Ta-da. We are now having all of that. And then a water vehicle. So they can have a boat as well, so they can go on little adventures. I think that's such a cute idea. And it's not too much of an eyesore to have a boat. I think that looks pretty. All right, and officially, it can be a beach lot. Um, hi, I just got home from work. I'm glad I didn't miss the whole stream. Oh, hope you had a good day at work. I'm glad you could pop in. Uh, it's uh, 12, 19 a.m. here, so just 20 minutes past midnight. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be going, but we're here for right now. Um, and I think we're going to save. We might be done with this build, though. We might do something else for a little while. For a little while. It does make sense. Once we got short-staffed and I was taking drive through orders, bagging the orders and doing fries and had to drop a bag of fries. So I asked the car that just pulled up if they could hold for a minute and they said no and proceeded to give me their order while I was pouring fries into boiling hot oil. Oh boy, that's not good. By the way, to switch drain anyone else's phone battery at crazy speeds. I haven't tried it before, so I wouldn't know, but curious to know that. Um, use my idea of using bungalows um, two days ago. It looked really nice. It was actually yesterday for me, but yeah, um, thank you. Maybe a white and black lounger, like bride and groom colors. I think there's a black lounger. Um, I think I want to keep it a little bit less like bride and groom, just so it can be for bride and bride, bride and groom, or non-conforming either. Um, I just want some like chill colors out here. Um, I've never worked fast food, say, sad to say I was too snobbish to do so. Oh no. Um, I have to keep my phone plugged in while watching. You're brave to last that long. If you do something else, maybe do a family micro home. Um, I don't know if we're going to do too much more building if we continue the stream. Uh, let's actually save this to my library real quick. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Um, so I think I like just how simple this area is. I don't think it needs anything else. I mean, maybe we can add like a little stereo or something, but I feel like that would look ugly. So I think we might just keep it as is and have the sounds of the ocean. That might be really pretty. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep it as is. Go ahead and save this. I don't know if this is what it's gonna be named, but for right now, I'm just gonna call it Sulani Wedding Venue. Sulani Wedding Venue. Builds on stream. Uh, ceremony location bar and reception plus three bungalows. Two for guests and one honeymoon suite. I will save this for later. Save that to my library. Um, <laughs> your favorite song, right? Bop it a bop it a bop it a bop. Yeah. What is the best thing about living alone? I wouldn't know because I don't live alone. But unless you mean like just not living with family, I'm not really sure where that question came from. You can put some candles on the walkway. Um, if we did that, I feel like it would be like this one. I mean white. Or actually this cream color looks really pretty. Maybe something like this. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Um been watching on YouTube, so glad I was able to catch a stream. Oh, glad you could be here. Uh, best thing about living alone, pans are optional and you don't have to close the bathroom door. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, once I was working at, from, at my job and this elderly woman argued with me for like 20 minutes about how she wanted me to give her a receipt when she didn't hit which one she wanted on the pin pad. And then proceeded to tell me that she was 93 years old. And things these days weren't like she was when they were my age. And I then left and I was like, okay. Oh boy. I think this looks pretty. Um, been on here for an hour and 20. Feels longer. Please don't end soon. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Because, I mean, it is like 1230. Um, I am enjoying myself though. We might just hang out and chat or... Maybe, 
actually do some gameplay for the first time in absolutely ages. And as long as I don't accidentally show you guys a different build that I've been working on, then I want it to be a surprise once it's finished. I've talked about it in today's build. Yeah, because I'm in the process of building a mansion. So I want that to be a big surprise when it comes out. What it looks like anyway. Oh no, the TV stand in my build just disappeared. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right, so, oh my gosh. I apologize if you guys can hear my stomach. I don't know why it always does this when I'm on stream because I'm not even hungry. Um, do you have multiple save files? I do. Uh, I have a ton, but this is my main building one right now. But I have um, a lot of save files. Like a, like a lot of them. Some of them are really old. I don't even know what's in some of these old ones. My saved game four from September 26, 2014. <laughs> so let's just save the world and let's go look through some save files. Um, exit to main menu. And I'm gonna rename the stream, like going through my save files. Cause I think that sounds fun going through old save files. There we go. Yay, mansion. Um, I asked on your YouTube if you'd be doing mansions. Did you? I don't do them like very often because they're really daunting, but every once in a while it sounds fun. All right, let's go ahead and load this save file. I have no idea what to expect. I mean, it said Griffin, so I know it's gonna be my first ever Let's Play family from The Sims 4 like base game when it first came out. But, oh, we're gonna get to see the atrocity that is their house. I'm a little, oh yeah, it's before seasons. So I guess I'll pick summer because that's all we had at the time. Uh, so I can see it in all of its, oh God, okay. We're gonna see what my builds looked like when The Sims 4 first came out. I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, it's uh, it's beautiful. I think I renovated this on the channel at one point, like maybe a year or so ago, but a lot of you guys probably haven't seen this. It's, um, it's also a renovated version of the original uh, because as my Sims got more money and had more kids, I made it bigger but it's really bad. <laughs> it's only base game from 2014 and I didn't know how to build, so. children, Garrison and Phoebe. Oh, this was before Tegan was born. Darcy, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant with Tegan? Sorry, <laughs> I'm very excited. Look at this house. I didn't even paint the top here. This is, this is my building skills at the time. I didn't know there were roof trims or that you could paint the top of roofs. Oh my goodness. And just, oh, look at the windows in the back. Isn't this house gorgeous? Mm-hmm. I... <laughs> I think this is proof that, like, if you practice enough, you can get better at building. Because I think I'm a lot better than this. You guys can let me know, but... Um, this is where we used to be. So, let's, let's do a tour. Uh, I think this is the front of the house. Yeah. So if you go right in, it's uh, very green in here. Uh, this is our kitchen. It's a uh, green. There's some plates out. There's no cabinets at all in here. Uh, this is the living room. I have always loved this painting. This has been since day one. Uh, I have put this painting absolutely everywhere. Uh, oh, Afra, is this Quinn? Oh, it's Quinn. Okay. <laughs> So my Sim Darcy, she 
had a love interest and they were dating for a long time and I had them move in together and I had him propose. She said no and he died of embarrassment right here on the kitchen floor. So he's right here. This is Quinn. Um, <laughs> um, that's a fun video idea probably done before renovating your first build. Um, yeah, I have renovated this build on the channel before. I don't like how it came out though. Uh, but I have other builds. I might do like renovating my first speed build or renovating one of my first builds because there's another build I'd like to renovate that's older. Dang, right? Yeah, this is Quinn. I feel so bad. This was like right when... I have this actually footage of this. It's one of the videos on my channel from when The Sims 4 first came out. I did a whole Let's Play. And so if you ever want to see my genuine reaction to Quinn dying of embarrassment on the kitchen floor, um, yeah, <laughs> that exists. Um, this is the kitchen table, our little bathroom. It looks like this. I don't know what's going on with the tiles. Um, <laughs> I think this is the master bedroom. It's very red and uh, we have a frog. It's very bare bones. Uh, this is just an extra room. I think this eventually ends up being kids bedrooms split up later on, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, and then upstairs we have some more kids bedrooms. So, I guess we're probably not pregnant yet if this room's just got a punching bag and nothing else in it. Although, this is a giant bedroom that has a cot over here and a toy box over here and two big lights in the middle. Oh yeah, we didn't have those, the good lighting in the game yet. We didn't have um, my favorite lights. These saucer lights didn't exist. Oh man, I forgot that. These lights are awful. Let's get rid of those. I don't want to save this though. I kind of want to keep this this lot to be my original 2014, uh, or this save file to be my original 2014 one. That's a spooky um, moderator. Yeah, or not moderator. I just read that um, mod 33 messages were deleted by a moderator. Um, I don't know what just got said, but sorry if uh, Streamlabs got mad at you but that's a super spooky nursery yeah it's uh kind of weird i'm assuming my sim's pregnant right now then because i know she ends up having one more kid uh, i keep forgetting we didn't have those saucer lights at the start wish we had more lights that bright right um first time tuning in been following you for a while oh welcome to the stream beauty by beth marie glad you can make it we're touring my first build that i did in the sims 4 it's um bad um, but we're just taking a look at it right now uh, and then this is the upstairs bathroom I don't think there's toilet paper there isn't it's very blue and this might have been one of the last times I ever used this giant modern dollhouse so that's <laughs> that's the whole house oh the, oh, the back porch we have a, a treadmill out here because we didn't have seasons so it wasn't gonna get rained on we're gonna see how long it takes for it to get rained on, but may let's bring Darcy home and see if she's actually pregnant. Um, leave early. Yes. Are you pregnant with Tegan? Did you have Tegan yet? Oh, yes. Yeah, she she's very pregnant. <laughs> let's see. Third trimester in 18 hours. Okay. She's gonna get even bigger than that. That's terrifying. Oh boy. Anyway, this is my first Sim Darcy. I made her the first day The Sims came out. Like I said, her first love died. And um, then she ended up marrying this guy. If he, I told him to come home early. There you are. So this is who she ended up actually marrying. I wanted her to be with Quinn though, but he had to just die. It was so sad. Uh, but yeah, this is my very first save file. I kind of want to leave it as, what is this terrain paint? Where was I going with that? It looks like a stomach. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go back and look at some other save files. I'm confused. Um, hello. Hi. When your sim gets huge and you're like, oh, excuse me, how many babies are you having? And then they just have one baby. Exactly. Because um, I know she's only having one baby because I've already played it before. She's having a little girl and we're naming her Tegan. And Tegan's going to grow up to marry Alexander Goff and like inherit the Goff fortune. So, you know. <laughs> what is with the Sims pregnancies anyway? I swear they swallow beach balls, right? They really do. 
All right, let's see what other save files I have. What is this one? Hilton. Linton. Griffin. Oh, oh, this is Griffin. Does that mean we're even further along in that particular game? It says 2017. I'm going to check. Let's see if that house has evolved or even is still standing because it does say Griffin. So it might be the same save or like a future version of that save. I'm very curious. These are going to take forever to load though. We're going summer again. Please tell me this house still exists. Is this an older version of the house? Where it's just Darcy? I am so confused. Um, in the Sims game now, can kids share a big bed together if they are siblings? I'm not sure. I feel like they should be able to. But this is a later save file from like three years later. But it's just Darcy. <laughs> Does that mean Quinn is still alive? Can I show you guys Quinn if he's still alive? Are we dating him? Or did he already die? And this is like right after, before we've met our husband. I'm very curious. Oh, what house is this? Where are we? What is this? Oh, okay, this is not the same thing. I just moved her in to test out a build years ago. This is an older speed build. I really don't like this one. The inside I really like though. I think it's a fun interior. I mean, it's a little bit too spacious, but I remember having fun doing this one. Okay, let's uh, exit out of that. Um, I married Alexander Goff to Elsa and they had a baby boy and I named him Kristoff. I wanted them to have a girl and name her Anna. Aww. That's cute. Alright, let's see what else we might have in here. I actually, I have a bunch of like older build saves in here somewhere. Building 2018. Build save, 2018, recovered, parenthood, October project, seasons, mom, building save. Is this old? Let's find an old building save to open. I think only some those ones have the name building save though. Yeah, I think we're gonna open Building save recovered because the thumbnail is me and my best friend. I'm severely pregnant and I'm holding an alien baby. So I think this is the time that <laughs> me and my best friend both got abducted by aliens or somehow got pregnant by them. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to open it just because I can see in the thumbnail. It's me and my best friend um, from one of the times she came over and we did some weird stuff. So uh, hopefully there's some interesting build stuff in this lot. Or in this save file. Mm. Are there any simmers out there who make sims that look like celebs? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I feel like I've seen those. Oh boy. What is all of this? Oh, I remember this build. These worlds didn't exist yet. Oh, I remember, oh, I have a naked sim living here, but that's okay. I remember loving this build. I don't remember what the inside looks like at all though. We're gonna check it out. One of these days, I think I want to stream me just playing some university, uh, some Discovery University, because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I've only really built things there. I haven't really like, attended school. Items removed. Oh, why is it snowing out? And suddenly you're not naked. You're wearing uh, this. All right. Look at the snow or uh, 
scarecrow outside. But we can still take a look at the interior here. Ooh. Yeah, I remember really, really enjoying this build. Oh, look at the kitchen. It's so cute. Really big dining space. What's upstairs look like? Wow, four bedroom house. I don't build things this big anymore. But I thought this was a really cute house when I made it. Anyway. I wish they made The Sims where you can play online with your friends. Yeah, they used to have that. Uh, the Sims Online used to be a thing. The snow, right? The snow looks so pretty. I love snow in The Sims. Oh, she is cold. Where are you going? Okay, so you're freezing and you decide, here, let me run through the house just to go outside and be cold and cook on the grill in the backyard during a blizzard. Smart idea. Very smart sim right here. Also, like, what is this she's wearing? What is this from? I think it's hideous, but I don't know what it is. Are we making hot dogs or veggie dogs? Grilled hot dogs. Great. This is... <laughs> this is Sims for ya. Ooh. This is how I stay warm. I make hot dogs on the grill in a blizzard. So I live in the city and the apartment building next to mine is maybe eight feet away and I feel like my neighbors could see into my bathroom even though the blinds so I be in the dark. Oh no! Oh, wow, I put all these stones all the way down here. Well, okay. Anyway. On that note, I think we're gonna go back to the main menu. Is there anything in particular you guys would like to do for a little while, or should we end soon? Ooh, I should get my cat. Should I get my cat? I don't think you guys have met my cat. I think I should get my cat. Um, let me see if he is willing to come in here. And I will bring him in here and he can say hello. He's probably not going to be very happy about it. But I will be right back. Um, this is Rio. Rio, look at the camera. <laughs> Don't call my face. Look at the camera. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you a big boy? You wanna say hi? Hi, camera. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna be careful. We're gonna be careful not to claw mommy, okay? You can go down. He got a little excited. <laughs> oh boy, he messed up my my whole setup. Oh, are you camera shy? I think he's a little camera shy. My night has been made. I miss my cats. I love him. So cute. Yeah, he's a big boy. You want to come back? It can be on your terms. I know I was holding you funny. He likes to sit on my shoulder, like make me hold him up on my shoulder, and then I can't get anything done because he's in the way. Um, but he's a sweetheart. He's just a big boy. You wanna come back? No? No? No, you good? All right, well, <laughs> that was Rio. He's uh, walking around now, so he might be visible in the background at some point. Maybe. I don't know. So, another animal <laughs> that um, you got to see in stream because if Rudy was on the other day, he was being very excited. <laughs> Your cat's 15 pounds. Wow. See, like, I feel like every time somebody says, like, a large weight for a cat, I'm like, 
oh, that's so small. Because uh, Rio is around, I think, 21 pounds. Um, so <laughs> when I'm like 15, I'm like, oh, that's so light. Uh, I know that's not a normal reaction, but that's my reaction. So sorry about that. Um, big cats are the best. Yeah. Rio's a little bit overweight he had his weight check-in today but they said his ideal like perfect weight is around like 19 pounds because he's just a big cat in general he's supposed to be pretty big <laughs> um but I think he's like 21 ish right now uh he was at like 23 and a half he lost some weight we've had him on a special diet um but <laughs> he's uh he's still a big boy Where, Rio, do you want to come back oh are you gonna come back you want to come up here you want to be on stream again? You want to be on stream again? On the way you like to be held? Okay. Um, my late Luna was 20 when we first got her. Oh, big kitties. Gotta get, had to get her down to 12. Oh my gosh, that's a huge weight loss for a cat. Um, but yeah, this is how he likes me to hold him all the time. So I'm trying to get stuff done and he'll be like, but you need to support my whole weight. Like, look at him. <laughs> He's a big boy. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You can't eat the microphone. No, we're not going to eat that. I got my cat down from 24 pounds to 17. Wow. That's a really good weight loss on a cat. Oh, if I were just chilling talking about cats right now. <laughs> uh, took us like a year and, ah, yeah. What are you doing down there? He's just headbutting everything. Cat ASMR. I, yeah, I'm not sure how that sounded, but every time I've ever had him close to my mic, he tries to eat it. So hopefully that wasn't too horrible sounding. <laughs> um, he was a Russian blue and should have been 15 pounds. Yeah, I don't know much about cat breeds. I know some of them. I don't know what a Russian blue. I'm covered in fur now. Um, but I have no idea what breed Rio is. <laughs> I got him at a humane society when he was two months old and he was like a couple pounds like he was very tiny um and then he grew up to be massive he is a very big boy and he's kind of a jerk but he's very sweet when he wants to be and um yeah anyway that's my cat this is totally turned into a cat stream um I'm getting a kitten on Friday, and I've already decided that she'll be spoiled big boy. <laughs> oh boy. I hope you ha spoil your kitty. Don't let them get too chunky, though. Spoil all the kitties. Yeah, I spoil all my pets. It's really bad. I have the most spoiled cat, dog, and rabbit. Um, I wish there was a good way to show you guys Wednesday on stream, but I would never do that to her. Because um, bunnies don't like to be picked up, so I would never do that unless I had to like to bring her to the vet or something or for her own safety um aren't all cat jerks but sweet yeah they pretty much are um okay my battery is below 40 percent on the charger so I'm gonna go to head out it was nice speaking with all of you thanks for being so sweet Miss Kirby oh thank you so much for being here I hope you have a good night um <laughs> my other cat was lucky if she was seven pounds oh my goodness that is so small I can't imagine a cat that small. Um, I think all of my cats have been big. I mean, I haven't personally had many. I've like lived with people that had cats though. And um, yeah, they've all been pretty big. You had a bunny that loved being held? That's, that's not normal. Um, Cause bunnies are only ever picked up when they are um, being like eaten by predators. So typically they don't like to be picked up and yeah, um, that, that's bizarre. Like some of them can get used to the idea, um, but they don't naturally like to be picked up. I have three cats ranging from nine to 12 pounds. Ooh, kitty cats. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine having three cats again either. My grandmother has three cats and so whenever I go away for anything, I drop off my cat at her house. And then she has four cats for a while and it just seems like a lot to handle although I, I mean I have three pets right now I have a cat a dog and a rabbit so 
I guess it can't be that much more work to just have cats. Um, all runs are the best. Aww. She was a tortoise shell calico and she was beautiful. Oh, calicos are really pretty. I don't know what the difference is between like a regular calico and tortoise shell calico though. I've never heard that term before. Tortoise shell calico. Oh, okay. They're really pretty. Wow. Nice. Uh, my stepmother had a kitty named Noelle because she got her on Christmas. Oh, that's really cute. I have four cats, two dogs, two turtles, two rats, a guinea pig, and a bearded dragon. That sounds a lot like my childhood. Yeah, that's awesome. So many pets. I know I've probably talked about it on a video before, but like I grew up, I had three large dogs, a cat, five birds, three, two freshwater tanks, one saltwater tank, a turtle, a guinea pig, and a bunch of hamsters all at the same time. <laughs> um, so I definitely understand the having a ton of animals at once thing. <laughs> That's um, my whole childhood. <laughs> Uh, my mother and stepfather have an Angora, and he's almost, he's the most talkative cat I've ever met. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. Uh, I have two leopard geckos. Ooh, I've never had geckos. I hope to get a cat and name him or her Mochi. That sounds cute. I'm just loading up the game to see if there's anything else I want to do, but I think we're not going to go too much longer because it's um, just about 1 a.m. here <laughs> and we finished that build and I don't really want to start something new right now. I feel like next time we stream, we'll either continue a build that we didn't finish yet from quite a few streams ago or we'll start something new. Um, geckos are so sweet. They're so chill and easy to care for. Oh, that's good. Beep, beep, lettuce. <laughs> what am I missing? Um, the only feral, ca the only cats I see are the feral ones that roam around my complex. Yeah, there are a lot of feral cats. Um, must resist urge to click on, is it Windenburg I'm building in? I think it is. So we're not going to go there. Um, I had a chinchilla named Marshmallow. Mochi, aka little boy. Oh, that's so cute. That's a really cute name. I do think we're about to end here though, so let me see who else is live. Let me put my headphones back on too. I haven't put them back on since, uh, since, oh my gosh, my bangs look awful. Um, I haven't put them back on since I got my cat before. So let's see who is live that we can go ahead and raid and send some love their way. Um, who is live playing The Sims 4 right now? Ooh, Dr. Gluon is live right now. I think we're going to end up going on over there. Um, he is fantastic. Making the Simpsons in the Sims. That sounds great. Uh, do your pets get along well? Because I've been scared that my two dogs will not be so friendly to her since they're all females. They're not. They coexist. They're not besties, but they coexist. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the stream and raid Dr. Gluon. He is absolutely fantastic. And I would love it if you could go over there and... Tell him we said hello. Tell him I sent you. Send all of the love. And thank you guys so much for being here and spending some time with me tonight. It was really, really fun. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Let's go see Dr. Gluon.